Yes, guys, we're back again. Just going to have a look at the ideal fruiting conditions. We're going to have a drill into a little bit of a pin set, see what it looks like when when to put into fruiting conditions, because this is literally only just gone into fruiting conditions. Um, totally unmodified shoe box, this, or mono tub, whatever you want to call it. Literally, that means there's nothing done to it other than the bin liner. Uh, as you can see in previous videos, how we uh how we go to substrate in a bin liner so there's a little bin liner in there totally unmodified so nothing done to it at all the lid is just left slightly ajar so it's just it's just literally hanging off there um, not too concerned although we have to still be cautionary about bacteria but because we're in fruiting it's it's less un less likely now to get any sort of form of bacteria so uh, we can be a little bit less on the sterile conditions not saying don't be because you know eventually the cakes do get tricked um so yeah let's just drill in let's have a look what's going on with a pin set so As you can see, we've got some nice pins forming there. That's an ideal pin set there. You can see them in clusters. And then there's some more over here. More if you, it's kind of hard to sort of. Some really thick mycelium, it's actually growing up. The liner, can you see that? Which is pretty cool. So it's all looking pretty healthy there. And we've got a lovely pin set forming. There's a scroll right to left. Look at that. Let's see if we can get them right close. And this has literally been in fruiting conditions. I'd say 12 hours overnight. So yesterday I put this in fruiting conditions so, and this is the morning. I think it's beautiful. And I'm just gonna demonstrate. So I've got a water bottle, which is full. Put a little bit of this in, Dr. Mike, MGP Pure. Don't know if it makes much difference. I'm just, I just try and do everything to the best of my ability. And uh, if you sort of, we follow follow that example you can't go far wrong and then we're just gonna all i literally do is a spray into the air and it's gonna carry on spraying that because it's full but literally just spraying into the air and just letting the the little droplets naturally drop on top and spin this over and i'm just gonna spray a bit on the lid we're just looking for a little formation, like little speckles, you know, like fine rain on there. And then we just leave the lid ajar. We're going to do this once, twice, three times a day. Don't really need to waft it. You can do. I don't. I mean, each to their own. Just, just form your own sort of best practice, whatever works best for you. I know that. The lid's ajar, so there's plenty of uh, oxygen exchange, plenty of CO2 exchange, and uh, it's doing its thing. So, hope this has been knowledgeable. Much love. Enjoy.